Hey yo, what is going on? It's your boy X1 at y'all with a brand new video. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about my team limited and how you guys can roll through all of your games pretty handedly, pretty easy, despite the new um, stipulations that we got going on with them. So if you guys are excited, make sure you guys smash that like button down below, as well as comment, you know, what is your limited lineup that you're running right now? Who's that favorite card that you have in that lineup that's gonna help you roll through it nice and easy um it's gonna be pretty nice so you can see with this week's different stipulations you must include three players that are ruby or higher who have won a postseason nba award in their career um really just means like championship finals and mvp something like that um all other players must be rated gold or below and no free agent cards are allowed so honestly not too bad it's really not as rough as it's been in previous times where it's only, you know, 70 rated or below. And it makes it a little bit fun, you know, running your team comp. So with mine right here, you can see this is the general setup that I think you guys should be running. And for another caveat of why it's nice to be running limited right now, as you guys can see, you can pick up a ring to get your Ralph Sampson. I've been slacking on that. But there is also a Ruby Damon Stoudemire that evos up to a diamond, which is pretty nice. He's actually a really solid card once you get him up to diamond. And I've heard the evo doesn't take too long, so that's who I'm um, grinding for, but I haven't been as lucky. So basically what I'm recommending when it comes to like the point guard position is obviously John Stockton is going to be that guy that you're going to want to run um, when you're getting him in here because he's just absolutely insane. He's six foot one, a 97 offensive overall, and that's mainly because of his insane finishing, a good 94 three-point shot, awesome playmaking. He has super solid defense with a 95 steal, 93 perimeter, insane speed. I almost wasn't going to pick him up, but after seeing him, I'm like, oh my God. And it's John Stockton who has a solid 100 driving dunk tendency, so he dunks on everybody's head too, and it's just kind of unreal. And his defensive tendencies aren't great, but definitely aren't too bad either. And then we have four solid Hall of Fame badges, Dimer, Giant Slayer, Unpluckable, and Floor General. Honestly, some of the better ones that you could have, like Dimer and Floor General, love having those badges out there. And if you are crazy enough, you can go over to his badges. I don't know why I went through everything and go all the way down. You can actually boost up his flexible release and range extender up to at least gold. And I think that'll give you quite a lot of boost as well as Intimidator. I feel like all of those badges, giving them some boost would be really, really nice and would help out John Stockton. But other options that I do think are just as solid, you know, at the PG are Rajon Rondo. It's a little bit interesting, but this Rajon Rondo has Hoff Pickpocket as well as Gold Dimer, um, Gold Hot 100, and Silver Clamps. So if you've gone through Domination, Rajon Rondo, honestly, not a bad option uh, to run your point guard position through. Um, next up is Allen Iverson. And now the one thing with Allen Iverson is he does not have any form of clamps, which hurts. But offensive wise, he's definitely a card that you should be using just because he's so amazing if you've gone ahead and do that. And the same thing goes with a Ruby Patty Mills. But my favorite, I guess, budget card, you could call it, would be this Ruby Kyle Lowry. And that's actually who I was using until I bought John Stockton. And that's because Kyle Lowry is just a beast, man. He's six foot, just has amazing overall stats. Again, he can shoot the three ball pretty well with an 83 with some sort of coach boost that'll definitely go up. Has solid playmaking, really solid defense. He's actually nice and quick, not as fast as Stockton, but he's still good. And you can see we got gold diamond, we got gold pick dodger and gold clamps along with gold floor general, really solid. We have silver pickpocket, silver quick first step and needle threader and a pluckable and range extender, which is amazing. And again, if you wanted to badge him out, badge up that flexible release, badge up that fancy footwork, badge up acrobat and range extender, as well as quick first step. And you will be looking real solid out there with your Kyle Lowry because he's honestly a beast and I love, love, love his jump shot. Now, when it comes to the two, because we only are held to being golds, it's a little bit tough to have one that is just like absolutely insane. Um, I went ahead and just picked up Luke Kennard because he's a good shooter. That's really um, all I'm looking for out of my two guard. But other guys that are pretty solid is there actually is a really good gold um, shooting guard. And now he is undersized, but it is Marcus Smart. Marcus Smart actually is one of the um, few gold cards that has some form of clamps and you can see 
He's undersized, but has silver pickpocket, pick dodger, and clamps, and even actually has a 72 three-point shot. Um, if you guys didn't know, the barrier to being a consistent shooter this year, as said by Mike Wang, is a 70. So Marcus Smart could still hit the occasional three for you very, very well, making him actually a pretty solid gold card um, for that position, which is pretty nice. All the ones that I know a lot of people like using, JJ Barea, because he can shoot real well. Um, just pick some sort of shooter. Damon Jones as well can shoot very well. Um, I just picked up Luke Kennard because I already had him and he was a gold that can shoot, really. That's all about it and I like his jump shot. Um, next, you're going to want to run some sort of you know, small forward that has some really good offense as well as can hold his own on defense. Now, Elgin Baylor, I wish I had him up evoed right now. I'm I'm slacking on that, but with Elgin Baylor, we got two off badges, Acrobat and Fancy Footwork, but we also have a bunch of really good offensive badges to help us out, as well as the Gold Pick Dodger, as you can see. Gold Quick First Step, you have to have that on somebody that's playing your small forward, some form of Quick First Step, it's massive, and even has Bronx Climbs to help him out a little bit, and you can see our offensive ability is just insane with Elgin Baylor, and with any sort of boost that we get from Coach or from the um, floor general from our PG, he can speed boost, which is amazing. Awesome all around defense, good rebounding, and he's stupid quick too. So pick him up. Some expensive options that work very well for this is Diamond Paul George. Absolutely love that Diamond PG. Other guy that's actually really solid is Andre Iguodala. You're missing out a little bit on the offensive overall, but you get amazing defense, a really solid jump shot, and he's amazing slashing to the basket. But I do think you have to badge um, a quick first step on him which isn't as ideal, but if you do do that, Andre Iguodala will be amazing. Um, I love Jerome Kersey and Bob Dandridge, both really solid cards to play at the three as well. And if you are severely on a budget, I do think that one of the best options is going to be the Andre Iguodala. But if you wanted to, you could run, you know, a power forward that's higher rated and then take my guy that I recommend running at the power forward in Robert Covington. Now, the reason I love Robert Cubbings in here is because Robert Covington, again, has a form of clamps in bronze, has catch and shoot, interceptor, and a pretty decent jump shot as well, which helps him out pretty nicely. And we have a 75 shot three, which is good. And his defense for a gold is pretty solid. Now, other cards that I could recommend running at this three and four that are gold if you wanted to have a, you know, nice power forward. Maybe you want to run um, Kenyon Martin out here. You know, maybe you want to run a Dave DeBusher because he's an absolute demon. Maybe you want to run... Um, you know, Sam Perkins at the four because he's just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful shooter. Or maybe even Kevin Gelly because I've heard a lot of people love him. Somebody like this Antoine Walker that you get very, very early in the season of words is another very solid card that just gives you a lot of the good things that you would want. Has some nice finishing, has um, some pretty good shooting with a 77 mid-range and 79 three-point shot. For some reason, he hits a punch as well. Has an 80 perimeter defense as well, which is solid. And just a bunch of gold badges to help him out when it comes to shooting. So very very solid so our big takeaways are make sure that they can shoot a little bit and they can dunk uh, for our main offensive guys and have quick first step with some form of clamps and then for our center we're gonna want somebody who can rebound well as well as hit the occasional at least mid-range so somebody like willis reed would be beautiful for this um i had chris Alves porzingis for a while who worked like a charm but i went with george mikan just because i wanted to sell chris Alves after i finished all of his challenges and george mikan worked perfect for this six foot ten we have an 83 point shot we have a really solid finishing really solid defense really solid um rebounding and he's decently quick as well as three hall of fame badges to help him out in the post and some um, beautiful gold badges to help us out with rebounding defense shooting finishing all the legs that just give him some beautiful boost. So again, if I had to recommend a more budget option, probably grab Brooke Lopez, Sam Perkins. Again, really beautiful shooter. Um, Joel Embiid works really well. If you don't want to shoot as well, have just have the like occasional midi, but still some really good inside defense. Um, Ryan Hollis works beautifully. I hate the fact that I'm saying that. And of course, Kristaps Porzingis works amazing because Kristaps is one of the better centers that we have in the game right now. Um, another one that we have, another little caveat as i'd say run the mavericks playbook if you want some sort of money play i went against a guy who was using the money play in this mavericks playbook which i'll show you in a second and he absolutely got every single open three-pointer that he possibly could so it has a really nice money play now i wouldn't advise you to run it every single time but every here and there run the play get an open three if you can time your shot and it, it won't be too bad and it's pretty cheap like 1.5k 1.6k mt is what i got mine for really really solid and then i know some people are a little confused on coach boost so 
I personally switch between Mike Budenhoser for defense and Frank Vogel, depending on just what I'm feeling, like what boost um, they give. You can see it gives John Stockton some really nice boost, so I don't worry about that too much. Same with all of my guys, really. But if I were to change, I could go to perimeter centric with Frank Vogel, who gives me ball handle, three point, and as well as perimeter defense and driving dunk works really well. If I had to say my favorite would probably be um, D'Antoni, just because he gives a speed as well. But other than that, I would probably run some sort of defense or perimeter centric for limited. And then we got to hop in to our defensive settings. All right, now when it comes to the defensive settings, we're obviously going to go in here. And I would just real quick go to the on-ball pressure to smothered and off-ball pressure to tight. I don't like the off-ball pressure onto the denied ball because then um, some easy backdoors happen. So just going on to tight works very well. And the occasionally I will put stay attached onto no although sometimes it does feel a little bit better. Another thing that I do real nice is turn off the adaptive coaching engine. Sometimes it's just a little bit weird, um, and you can knock down your help defense settings as well in the coaching settings. That's really all that I do. Make sure that you always have your settings correct as to how you want them. This is usually um, how I'm on Ryan shot meter on recently because meter off has been weird and then we just do that and when it comes to the general scoring just play normal ball run a lot of pick and rolls and pick and pops with you know george mikan or whoever you have there and use that three man to just drive and kick to the corner because we're also going to go into the offensive settings and change our freelance to either the clippers 2018 or hawks 2018 both of them really do the same kind of thing just kind of you can see ball screen and pick and roll um, that really help out. And then what we're going to do is go to our play selection, go over to pass and screen away. And then we're going to scroll all the way down, I'm pretty sure. And it is this quick 12 fits STS play. You can see right here that our PG, I'll go to it again, our PG, our shooting guard will come up. The center sets the screen as our PG rolls over. And then the shooting guard gets open at one of two spots. If he's not open at this initial screen, the power forward comes up and sets another screen for him to get a backdoor cut as well, which works very very solidly i will say um, and then once you select that you can hit triangle or y and then select who you want it to be for um i just have a bunch of silvers in here just to go into a game but we'll just say elgin baylor that's the guy that i want to play for because i want that hop dimer from john stockton to be working and then once you see that yellow bar on rick fox you're all good to go and there is your three point money play all set up nice and beautiful. So let me know if these help you guys out in your journey to getting that ring for limited as well as that Damon Stoudemire. I'll be playing it a lot today. So if you guys match up, feel free to hop on mic and say what's up. Um, I hope you guys have a great day. Make sure you guys subscribe if you guys are new. And I will see y'all in the next video.